Hello, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I do hope you're feeling good. I personally am feeling just great. Thanks so much for asking. I know you would ask if you could. My name is Danny Berg and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 moments that changed the world. Now these are the moments that humans will always look back on for hundreds of years and think, wow, that was a pretty big moment. Now some of them might be good moments, some of them might be bad moments, but I think it's safe to say that things will probably not be the same without these moments. I'm going to stop saying the word moment now, it's starting to sound weird. Let's just get into this right away with one that I know a lot of you guys will definitely agree with, the start of the internet at number 10. So the internet as we know it today really came to life at 10.30pm on October 29th 1969. At that point there were just two computers connected, one at the University of California and the other at the Stanford Research Institute. That was the entire internet at that point, that was everything. They attempted to do something that had never been done before, send a single word over the internet between two computers. Big stuff at that time. They decided to send the word login. The L came through, good stuff, then the O, things are going well and then it crashed. Yeah, the whole internet crashed. Typical internet. It was definitely a shaky start to the internet, but it was a moment that would change how we communicate, work, play, and basically live our lives forever. Moving on to number nine now, we have the Rosa Parks bus incident. Now let's go back to Alabama in 1955. Segregation laws in the United States permitted discrimination of people based on the colour of their skin. Now one of the worst examples of this was on public buses where black people were often asked to give up their seats to white people. Many obviously hated this but many were also forced to obey this law for fear of being arrested. On December 1st of this year, 42 year old Rosa Parks was asked to give up her row for a white man. The other three black people sitting with her stood up but Rosa did not. This act of defiance led to her arrest which led to a bus boycott and kickstarted the whole civil rights movement really. Over the next year the court case made its way all the way up to the Supreme Court and finally on November 13th 1956 segregation was ruled unconstitutional. By refusing to give up her seat Rosa had begun a chain of events that would break down huge walls of racism, give millions of people equal rights and change the world forever. Alright coming in at number 8 now, we have the Wright Brothers flight. On December 17th 1903, Orville and Wilbur Wright were ready to attempt something they had been working on for months and had never been achieved by humans before powered flight. Now their aeroplane was incredibly basic and it kind of looks like it shouldn't be able to fly at all. But at 10.35 am that day on a North Carolina beach, Orville Wright took their contraption 20 feet into the air. He flew 120 feet over the beach over a course of 12 seconds. Now it doesn't sound like much, it was a very very short flight but it was the start of everything. Up to that point they had only ever managed to fly gliders. They just kind of glided around, but now their planes had engines. They went on to improve the design, the flights got longer and longer and other people joined in to improve the aeroplane. Pretty soon the world was full of planes. People could travel faster and further than they had ever done before. Alright moving on to number 7 now, we have Pearl Harbor. Now for the first two years of World War 2, America stayed out of it. They wanted nothing to do with it. The country did not want to get involved with what it saw as a foreign war that had nothing to do with them. But sometimes you don't go looking for a fight sometimes that fight comes right to your doorstep. That's exactly what happened on December 7th 1941 when 355 Japanese planes attacked the Hawaiian naval base of Pearl Harbor. The attack came without any sort of warning or declaration of war. 2,403 sailors were killed. America declared war on Japan the very next day. Four days later Adolf Hitler honoured his pact with Japan by declaring war on America and the United States had officially entered World War II. Now this was a huge moment because many people feel like the war against Hitler might not have been won in Europe if it weren't for American help or at the very least it would have taken a lot longer. Many more years and a lot more people would have been killed. 
Alright, at number 6 now, we have Barack Obama winning the presidential election of the United States in 2008. Now, to understand how much of a big deal this really is, consider this. Obama was born in 1961 during the American Civil Rights Movement. At that time, black Americans were still fighting for equal rights in almost every aspect of their daily lives, from education to employment and racial segregation. This is the America that Obama was born into, and nobody would have expected that in just 47 years, a black person would be elected to the highest position in America, and one that many call the leader of the free world, the President of the United States. In fact, if you'd asked people just 10 years before this happened if it was likely to happen, many would have said that it was quite unlikely. But when the votes were counted and Obama came out on top, the world realised that the fight against racism might still have a long way to go, but this would be a moment that changed the world forever. Next up at number 5 now, we have Columbus sighting the Americas. On October 12, 1492, Christopher Columbus and his crew spotted what is now known as the island of San Salvador in the Bahamas. Despite there being many other reports of Europeans laying eyes on the Americas before that day, this was still an important one. It led directly to further exploration of the continent by European countries, which in turn led to colonization. This ultimately spelled disaster for many of the native populations there due to disease and war. It also led to the formation of many modern countries we know today, such as Canada and Brazil and Argentina and Mexico and the United States. For many people, all the good and bad things that happen in these countries and the impact that they've had on the world at large can be traced back to this pivotal moment when Columbus first laid eyes on the New World. Alright, for our number 4 now, we have the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. On June 28, 1914, a Serbian nationalist shot and killed the Archduke Franz Ferdinand in the eastern European city of Sarajevo. Now, follow me on this. His death caused the Austro Hungarian Empire to declare war on Serbia, so Russia declared war on them, so Germany declared war on them, and then Britain and France got involved, then the other European countries, and then the entire world took sides in this. Seriously, look at this map, there's a good chance that the country you're watching this very video from was somehow involved. From this one assassination came World War 1, which resulted in the death of 38 million people and shaped the modern world today. Now, on top of that, the way that the end of the war was handled led directly to World War 2, and I don't even need to go into how devastating that one was, too. Now, obviously, there were many other things out there that caused the two world wars, and some people think they might still have happened anyway, even if Franz Ferdinand wasn't assassinated, but we live in a world where he did, and that one death led to events that would change the world forever. Alright, up next at number 3 now, we have 9-11. On September the 11th, 2001, terrorists hijacked two passenger planes and flew them into the World Trade Center buildings in New York. In less than two hours, both towers had collapsed. The final death toll for this day came to just under 3,000 people. It was a day that people will remember for the rest of their lives. What followed was the War on Terror, which affected the Middle East and the world, and will continue to do so for many more years. Then there came things like the Patriot Act, which brought in many new powers for the US government to spy on its own people. Also, flying between countries will never be the same again. It's hard for anyone under a certain age now to imagine a time when you didn't need to show up for your flight hours and hours and hours ahead of it, you didn't need to take off your shoes to get through security, and you could bring whatever liquids you wanted on board, really. Alright, moving on to our number 2 spot now, it's the theory of evolution. On November 24th, 1859, Charles Darwin published a book that would change the world forever. On the origin of species contained Darwin's evolutionary theory that species evolve over generations through natural selection. Now these days, this is common knowledge. If you just walk into any classroom and pick up a 10 year old science book, it's right there for you. But back then, things were very different. Now Darwin was from England and the church there saw his work as very controversial because they felt it went against the teachings that species have remained unaltered since God created them. But over the next few decades, this debate only served to help bring Darwin's theory to the public's attention. For the first time in human history, we learned that we are related to every living thing on the planet and we share common ancestors with all of them. 
And finally at number one now, we have the first moon landing. On July 20th, 1969, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped out onto the surface of the moon. It was the first time a human had ever walked on something besides the Earth. Armstrong uttered the now immortal line of one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yeah, he messed it up. He was supposed to say one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. That would have made a lot more sense, but you know what? Who really cares? I mean, it wouldn't be a big moment in human history without a tiny bit of human error. 600 million people watched this happen live. That was about 17% of the entire planet. The moon landing spawned countless new technologies that we use today and sped up the advancements of pretty much everything from rockets to modern computers. It also inspired countless people in their professional and personal lives like if we can get to the moon all the way up there and then like a little tin can we can pretty much do anything. Alright guys, well I'm glad we could end this on a positive note. Now I want to know which one of these was your favourite. Did I miss any out? Probably, because there's so many moments out there that change the world. Should we do a part 2 and try and fit them all into that one? As ever, leave all your answers and suggestions down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke and I'll see all of you guys in a bit.